Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gloria and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I wanted to talk about my Hoya haul that I got this past weekend. So most of it's from this local nursery in kind of Toronto area. It's called Crystal Star Nursery and one is from a big box store. So if you like Hoya hauls and all things about Hoyas, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So first off, I wanted to go through kind of just my more common Hoya. I found this one in my local Canadian Tire, which is like, you know, like a Home Depot, Lowe's type of store in Canada. And this one is my first one of the kind, and it's my Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess. So I have the Queen already, which has the variegation on the outside, but this one has a variegation on the inside. So. And it has like the most beautiful pink stems, which I'm really enjoying. So I got this for only $11.99 plus tax. So this one's an eight inch hanging pot, which is humongous. And there were a few damaged leaves, I think mainly just from like it being out in the sun for too long because these were placed outside. And I just chopped those off and the remaining plant looks pretty healthy to me. And it's quite bushy. There's a few stems that are trailing off and I'm really liking this guy and you really can't go wrong with like $11.99, right? So I paid a lot more for my other hanging basket of my Hoya Carnosa Crimson Queen, which I think I paid like $30, $40 and this was only $12. So such a steal. Next up from Crystal Star Nursery is this guy, which I think is so cute. It's like the leaves are so unique and this one is called the Hoya Meniparensis, and this is how it looks like. So the leaves are like super oddly shaped. Can you see that? It's like, I don't know, like triangular, and I've never seen a Hoya like this. I would say this one and my Rotunda Flora are the most cool looking Hoyas, like in terms of leaf shape. But yeah, there, there's no like intense meaning. It's not like super fuzzy or anything like that, but I just really like the leaf shape on this. And yeah, this one is a little cutting that I got and it's a lot longer than I thought I would get. So that's a plus, really enjoying that guy. Next up, I have my Hoya Sunrise, which is this one, it has the most beautiful kind of sun stressed look to the leaves. As you can see, it's kind of reddish, especially that one, that one's so nice. And this one's quite bushy, it's on a little trellis here. And yeah, I would say, quite a popular plant in the plant community and i'm really glad i was able to snatch this because all of these plants really pretty much sold out in like i would say under five minutes on their site when they had their launch on june 3rd and yeah they were really quick with their orders this time i got my confirmation email to pick up from their nursery i think the day after so maybe like a day or two after and yeah that's why i was able to get it over the weekend so very quick service and really enjoying this guy there's a few stems i would say like i think two or three that are growing out of the moss here and yeah i can't wait to plant this up and just admire it <laughs> so that one is plot number two from crystal star nursery now my third one is this one so this one is my hoya thompsonii pink so this one oh my god if you guys could feel the leaves they're like like fuzzy they're like fuzzy times 100 so it's like borderline just really hairy so i don't know if the camera will be able to oh that's the back of the leaf i don't know if the camera will be able to focus but there's little hairs on the leaves and it's just so cute i mean they're very like small leaves so as you can see there's some damaged leaves at the top but that's okay that's expected probably when they imported the plant it just kind of got crushed i don't know but yeah i can see like a, a bit of new growth not a lot but yeah there's a lot of leaves on this one and it's just so fuzzy i can't i just can't but yeah this one is looking really nice also on a little trellis and uh the difference between the pink and the white thompsonii is just the color of the flowers so i didn't mind which one i got but you know i'm a sucker for pink so that's why i got the the pink one so can't wait for this one to flower for me next one is my hoya parasitica splash so 
when I look online, like on Google and stuff, for the Parasitica Hoyas, they are more heart-shaped. I don't know if there's just like a bunch of different kinds, but this one is not heart-shaped, but it has the most beautiful splashing. The leaves are kind of like thicker than my other Hoyas, so I would say it feels sort of like the Carnosa. Yeah, like the Carnosa variety in terms of thickness and waxiness, and yeah, the leaves are just really stunning. And this one is quite a big plant. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine leaves. Eight leaves. I don't know how I counted nine. Sorry, eight leaves. And there's um, nothing growing, like no new growth points or anything, but that's okay. This one looks really healthy. There's one damaged leaf down here, but you know, that's okay. That's one of the older leaves anyway. But yeah, the new leaves are looking really nice. The splashing is so beautiful. So I hear with like splashiness of Hoya leaves, you need to ensure that they have like bright and direct light so that, you know, the splashiness doesn't go away. So definitely going to keep this close to my grow light. And yeah, this one's also grown in moss and I love my Hoya Parasitica Splash. So this one I definitely bought for the foliage, not for the flowers. But you know, if it blooms for me, I'm not going to complain. Last but not least, I have two of the same plant here and that's because my friend actually bought one on accident because if you've ordered from Crystal Star Nursery before, you know how hectic and like stressful it is when you're just like clicking as fast as you can. It's pretty much like a treasure hunt and like they do it such that, you know, plants sell out really quickly. So I think she just accidentally clicked on this instead of one of the plants that she wants. So she was like, oh, if you want it, I could just sell it to you. So like I wouldn't have to contact the nursery and, you know, switch out my order or whatever. So I bought it from her and yeah, now I have two. <laughs> so this one is my Hoya Finley Sony Eye. So I have two here, which I'm going to combine into one plant just to make it a little bit bushier. I definitely like this one more just because it has so many more leaves. It has six leaves uh, six leaves one is like a half leaf but that's okay um this one's a little bit yellow uh and this one is damaged but this one looks really nice it has some beautiful splashing it has some veining if you can see in the back it's kind of hard to see but like if you put it up against the light you can see some of the veining and there's these little baby leaves coming out down here and there's one up here so there's three new leaves growing on this and this one's so big that it had to be trellised in the on the website there only two leaves on the plant so i'm really surprised i got one with like so so many leaves uh but this one looks more like the website one which has two beautiful leaves here and it also has some growth right here there's two new leaves growing on the stem here and yeah, this one I find looks a little bit less like the Finley Sony Eye because the leaves are thinner and like the veining is not as prominent. But you know, if they're selling it as a Finley Sony, I'm gonna believe them <laughs> because they are the experts. So yeah, this one's really nice and I can't wait to pop them up together to make a fuller plant. And I'll put it on like a big trellis so that it has lots of room to grow. And yeah. Pretty much all of these were grown in moss, so they're like rooted cuttings. That's what it said on the website. Sometimes it kind of comes in soil, but other times it comes in moss, so it's kind of like you don't know what you're going to get. So in my next video, I'm probably going to be doing a repot with me so that I can get all of the plants out of the moss and into some soil so that it has some nutrients. And I just like growing most of my plants in soil in like a nice chunky, um, airy mix. So yeah, I hope you guys are excited for the next video that's coming up. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, comment down below if you guys are a fellow Hoya head like me. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.